Elements by Ray Jux on AO3. Chapter 3. Chapter 2. Sappygram. Midori 715. Our sister band is cheering us on the showcase. Image of Midoriya with Uraraka, Ashi, Ashido, and Jiro, peace signing behind him. Comments. My sweet baby girls. <laughs> Are you dating, lol? Sin. Way to make me feel worse about not being able to go. Midori 715. Warming up, brushing off the showcase shitters. At Red XVI, at Shock Z. Videos of Kirishima and Kaminari doing vocal exercises in their dressing room. Comments. Help. Oh my god, I don't care if it's just warming up. They've got vocals of pure angel. How does it feel being surrounded by hot men? Midori715. My leader is too fancy for this world. At Toe Show. Image of Todoroki adjusting his outfit, looking into the mirror. Comments. H. Why can't I be there? Frowny face. I've got this live stream up and ready. Can't wait to see you guys. And me. My crops. Midori715. Look who's also here. Heart. Image of Midoriya with Inko, both peace signing at the camera. Comments. Mama and baby, you're both so cute, heart. Oh, wow. Look, it's my future mother-in-law. You look exactly like her. Midori715. Left your phone. Image of Bakugo holding the camera to his face as he eats a protein bar. Comments. Oh. My. God. AMA with Bakugo, please. I never knew I wanted Bakugo creeping into account so badly until now. What? Wh 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 what? Midori715. This is great. Image from afar through window of Midori speaking with an interviewer. Bakugo's reflection can faintly be seen in the glass. He is still eating the protein bar. Comments. I can't believe this. Ah. Keep his phone forever, okay? Help. I can't stop laughing. Midori715. Video of Bakugo. Bakugo. To answer everyone's questions, Deku is indeed a cuddler. Comments. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm actually crying. Weren't you talking about Folder before? Wh what do you think this is now? We'd like to personally thank you all for coming out to the showcase tonight. Shota smiled, looking to the bandmates lined up at his side. And also thank you to our senpai group for giving us support tonight. He gestured for the girls to come onto stage. They walked on, waving to the audience. Mina stepped up to borrow the microphone. Take care of our little brothers for us, okay? The crowd cheered, and she handed it back. Ijiro raised a fist. Did you all have fun? He nearly yelled into the microphone, and excited screams filled the venue. What was that? I couldn't hear you over my yelling. The cheers grew louder, and he laughed. Look forward to all of our other stuff, all right? Dinky winked. We got a lot of stuff planned out, and it's going to be awesome. Even more cheering. Seriously, thank you all for your support. Izuku smiled. The jitters he felt before the showcase were long since gone, and now he never wanted to leave the stage. If you haven't seen it yet, the PV for four seasons has already been released, so we hope you enjoy it. Kachan was the last to speak. I finally have Snappy Graham, so you all better follow it. It's Midori715. Catch you later. The crowd laughed as Izuku gave him a confused stare before he could retort. Shoto had them all bow and leave the stage. The feelings from post-showcase were enough to make him forget what he was even confused about. Getting back to their dressing room, he couldn't help but cheer and holler. The adrenaline rush from the entire showcase was too much for them to contain. Yelling, laughing, hugging. In Izuku's case, there was some crying, resulting in Kachan ruffling his hair and calling him a crybaby. But Kachan was laughing too. 
We should celebrate! Grab a bite somewhere! Denki suggested once they all finally calmed down and changed. Ichiro snapped his fingers. I'm really craving some okonomiyaki. Midori 715, post showcase meal, yummy. Image of okonomiyaki frying. Comments. I was at the showcase. Afterwards, I went home and ordered your single, Heart. Have you seen the damage Bakun has done? My mouth is watering. After the satisfying meal, the group started piling into the van. Patting his pockets, Izuku stopped himself from entering. I left my phone inside. Be right back. As he hurried away, Kachan called after him. You really gotta stop leaving that thing in random places, space case. Izuku checked the table they had used. He checked under and around it. It wasn't anywhere. He used it earlier, so where did he put it? Excuse me? A soft voice sounded from behind Izuku, and he spun in shock. A girl wearing a high school uniform shyly held his phone out to him. This is yours, right? You dropped it by my table on your way out? By the time I noticed, you already came back in. Relief flooded his entire being as he took it. Thank you so much. The girl smiled. Her smile seemed a little off, but Izuku pushed the feeling aside. I should thank you. I wanted to ask your autograph earlier, but I didn't want to bother you. My autograph? Excitement fluttered in his gut. At least, that's what he thought it was. Oh, uh, I was also at your showcase earlier. She reached into her bag and pulled out a notebook and pen. It's... it's no problem. Izuku took the notebook. Um, who do I make it out to? Himiko's fine. Himiko-san. Izuku shakily signed his first autograph under her gaze and promptly handed it back. Every second that passed with her felt more and more... off. The girl looked at it and let out a content sigh. Thank you, I'll treasure this for the rest of my life. She hugged the notebook. Her stare proned his soul in ways he didn't appreciate, but once again, flushed that feeling aside. That's flattering, thank you. He laughed, clutching his phone as though it was a lifeline. I look forward to seeing you in our future shows. Oh, I'll be in every single one. Izuku laughed again, regretting what he said, and left as quickly as possible. He scrambled into the van and sat there, pressuring himself against the seat as much as he could. What's up with you? Did something happen? Denki asked, unwrapping a piece of candy. I... Mm. Izuku took a moment to calm his heart, realizing just how much he was panicking in that girl's presence. Izuku should have furled his eyebrows in concern. I ran into a... a fan. Izuku couldn't stop trembling, staring at the black screen of his phone. She found my phone, then asked me for my autograph. What, dude? Thanking Straighten. You gave your autograph to a girl? Lucky. There's more to it than that, but I don't know. The darker-haired boy shook his head. She just didn't seem right. Kachan snorted. Well, that's rude coming from you. That's... no, Kachan, I mean like... Izuku ruffled his own hair, trying to get the words out. I didn't feel safe the longer we talked. The silence covered the group before Ijiro suddenly laughed. Izuku, I love you, but that isn't very manly. Izuku groaned and rested his head against the window. Just... Uh, forget it then. I'll bring this up to Aizawa, don't worry. Shoto said. There are fans out there who can get a bit extreme. You're justified in feeling that way. He squeezed the shorter man's shoulder. Thanks, Sho. Breathing out... Izuku's mind drifted to the photos. If idols lived every day of their lives with creepy encounters, he might consider a different career path. The van was quiet as they were driven back to their dorm. Izuku felt tired, but couldn't help it in himself to take a nap on the way. He wasn't tired enough to miss feeling a pair of eyes on him. 
Glancing at the seat across from him, he noticed Ka Chun looking away. The excited flutter from earlier returned. He liked this flutter. In response to Ka Chun, video going down a hall. Midoriya, yawn, quietly. Thanks again to everyone who came to the showcase. We had a blast. And now, well, I've got a thing to do. Camera stops at the door and Midoriya knocks. Bakugo. What do you want? Midoriya. Can I come in? Bakugo. Why? Midoriya. It's about the video you posted. Shuffling on the other side. Door opens. Bakugo. I knew you'd be filming. Midoriya. Kachan? Bakugo. What? I just want to sleep. Midoriya. So do I, but real quick. You're still ticklish, aren't you? Bakugo. No. Midoriya. You are. Bakugo. I will tear off your arms if you touch me. Bakugo backs away as Midoriya moves closer. Phone drops to the ground and the audio is just Bakugo screaming in laughter. Comments. Karma is a bitch. Holy hell, you're brave. Seriously though, till today I thought you hated each other with all the promo going on, but today has been a whole world of surprises. Just kiss already, lol. Is this what it means to be childhood friends? Izuku couldn't find it in himself to care when he woke the following morning on Kachan's bed, phone still in hand from when he started uploading the video to Snapgram. The tickle fight itself ended with Kachan in a desperate attempt to make him stop, lifting him by the armpits and throwing him onto the bed. Izuku braced himself for a tickle attack. Instead, Kachan fell beside him and instantly passed out. Kachan was still in the same position he fell asleep in, and as wild as he usually got while awake, the fact that he never moved when fast asleep was something that always intrigued Izuku. The very first sleepover they had as children, Izuku, having just learned what death was, because all-knowing Kachan taught him the ways of the world in the cruelest way possible, cried when he assumed Kachan had passed on, snorting at the memory. Izuku carefully got up to leave. With the absence of a warm body nearby, Kachan whined and curled up. Izuku smiled. The blonde had came a long way since back then. They both did. My heart is fluttering like crazy, like I'm in a dream. I'm in the clouds. Boom, boom. This must be love. N.U. A.B.O. Love Formula. End Chapter 2. All right. Buckle up, buckaroo. You gotta buckle up, because we are gonna talk a lot. I have a lot of notes. Okay, so I wonder, is Snappygram Instagram? I'm gonna say it's Instagram, because it seems to be like photo thingies, right? Instagram doesn't really have a special notification, and uh, I have yet to add sound effects in this one, because Jesus fucking Christ, it would be a lot of sound effects. So for Snappygram, I'm not gonna add any notifications and stuff. So yeah, no notifications there. Mainly because when you have like such a big account, you really don't get notifications for comments and stuff. So uh, we're not doing that. Um, also, I just got hit with the thing. Okay, so if we're going through K-pop, uh, you know, thingy, right? Do they have stage names? Because like K-pop artists um, sometimes have stage names where like, uh, for example, um, uh, Blackpink, uh, Lisa, where technically speaking, that isn't her name. Uh, some people do choose their names, right? Like Jenny or, or or something else. Like I'm pretty sure Rose, Rose's name isn't Rose. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've been a fan. <laughs> uh, like, don't get me wrong. I still listen to K-pop. I still listen to their music. I'm just not a fan fan anymore, I guess. I just occasionally listen to K-pop. Um, that pops up. Uh, it's, it's something I'll listen to. But um, yeah, do they have stage names? If so, wouldn't it be cool if it was like their, their uh, what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? They're like hero names. Like for example, Bakugo is um, Dynamite. Izuku is Deku. Um, Kaminari is, what was Kaminari's hero name? And my hero, oh my God, I forgot it. Uh, obviously Kirishima's would be Red Riot. Um, and then Todoroki's would be just Shoto because Shoto. Um, 
Also, I really love that little aspect of Bakugo being like, yo, you forgot this, and then hijacking his snappy gram. I feel like that's definitely something Bakugo would do. I really do like that dynamic that we've set up where they're kind of not, like they're, they're playfully like teasing each other, right? We have Izuku with the tickling, we have Bakugo with uh, stealing the whole insti, insti, uh, snappy insta, snappy insta? No, snappy gram, there you go. <laughs> Jesus. Um, also, once the showcase was over, which by the way, we got the girl group, which is Su, uh, uh, Mina, Uraraka, and then Jiro being in a, in a band together, uh, a girl band together. So I really like that. And the fact that they've already debuted beforehand. So they're, you know, I love that. Love, love, love that. That's amazing. So um, really love to see that. And I'm glad that they're added here. But I want to talk about um, after they went to go celebrate and Izuku lost his phone again. Is this going to be a problem that happens regularly? Izuku losing his phone. And if that's not a problem that happens regularly, um, is this, what's it called? This time that he loses his phone. Like, I feel like something was implanted in the phone. Or in one of the other times that he's going to lose his phone, something's going to get implanted. Like a tracker or something like that. Like, uh, you know. Um, also... I wrote before I saw the, the, the name reveal, I was like, girl, new girl, fan, girl, stalker, question mark. Um, and then obviously Izuku started feeling uncomfortable. So I wrote down gut feeling, right? Which is like, sometimes when you feel like, like you meet someone and you're like, I don't feel comfortable. Something inside, like, like, I know there's nothing that's telling me I should be wary or afraid or, or whatever, but something inside me, deep inside me is telling me run. You should run. Your gut feeling is almost always correct. Um, I had a gut feeling about uh, a certain person in my life. Uh, we'll call them Voldemort. When I first met them, I'm like, they're so sweet. They're so cool. Something's off though, right? And and I, I ignored it. And then um, quarantine happened uh, and then we met up again and there was just a complete change. And like the gut feeling was even more predominant. And I was like, I'm just being, you know, I'm just overreacting. No, you're never overreacting, all right? Sometimes you just need to trust that gut feeling. Sometimes you just need to, right? So yeah, as I said, uh, Himiko Toga. So I'm pretty sure that Toga is going to be the one that's stalking. It, it, it leads, I don't know why I didn't connect the dots beforehand. Like, oh, maybe it's like an actual character. Um, normally the stalker is not even an actual character and just like an OC that's made up just for the purpose of this. So I really like that they use the use of Toga. Right? That's going to be very interesting and I could very much see that possibly happening. And with her quirk, it um, imposes a lot of things like, for example, she can even kidnap Izuku and pretend to be Izuku. Or, for example, if, you know, if... I'm pretty sure she's probably going to be stalking either Bakugo or Izuku. Probably Izuku. I feel like it's leaning towards more Izuku, right? And she could kidnap Katsuki uh, and pretend to be him and Izuku's like, hold up, this isn't... This isn't my kacha. This isn't kacha. Um, which, that in itself gave me an idea for a fanfic, so I'm gonna probably use that, and that's gonna be super cool. Um, also, we got the first signs of romantic feelings from uh, Yuzuku. The whole fluttering heart, and then the end scene where, like, the tickle thing, and then, you know, the, the falling asleep and, and waking up and, and kachan's bed. That was very sweet. That was really cute. I want to talk about the end... Uh, the lyrics so I feel like there's gonna be a lyrics at the end of every one and if so that's gonna be super cool and super nice to see every time I'm not gonna sing nope mm -mm, but I am going to say it in a very poetic way but um, yeah I just wanted to say all that that's all my notes for right now um, I'm very worried and uh, I'm making my prediction of the kidnapping uh, I'm also making my prediction of the phone hijack phone hijacking Right, whether it is he his phone gets tapped into and uh, Toga can literally see all of his messages, all of his activity, uh, and tracking him, or, or, or you know his phone just gets tapped and hacked in some way, shape, or form. Either in this first time that like this, yeah, first not first time, it's the second time that he leaves his phone around, but like this time that he leaves his phone around, or maybe one in the future. So that is my predictions. Putting them down, predictions. So, as always, my raindrops, make sure to eat, sleep, drink water, take your meds, have a wonderful day or night. Link to my Discord server and socials are down in the description. Subscribe to see more of my content, and thank you so much for watching.